There's a common misconception that a data logger is a really smart and intelligent device. And the truth of the matter is it only knows to do what we tell it. So if you take an RPM sensor, like the one we've got here for measuring drive shaft speed, and you install it with the standard two magnet collar that comes with the system, every time the drive shaft spins around one revolution, those two magnets are going to pass this sensor. And every time it sees two magnets or two pulses, it knows that's one revolution. If you upgrade for higher resolution and put an eight collar magnet on your drive shaft, then every time the two magnets go by, it's going to think that's one revolution unless you change the configuration in the Datalink 2 software. Now, the software is super easy to change and once you change that setting so that it has eight pulses, it will read correctly. And this is how you make that change. You first must open the Datalink 2 software. Then click File, Open Car Configuration from the main menu. Select the appropriate configuration file for your data logger or digital dash. For this example, we chose Sportsman. Then, place the mouse cursor over the drive shaft RPM channel button or your RPM channel of choice and right click. In the VNet input channels parameter window, locate and left click on the pulse per revolution setting. This will activate a pulse per revolution input window to the right. Enter the number of magnets in your drive shaft collar or the appropriate number of trigger pulses per revolution for your RPM sensor. With your data logger or digital dash powered up and the race pack programming cable connected between your PC and the logger or dash, you next select the send configuration button and then click OK. Remember to save all changes using the save icon located in the upper left hand corner before closing the Datalink 2 software.